Hello everybody, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Shiva Ravindra. Today, I am going to explain you useful SAS techniques in efficacy analysis for oncology studies, class 5. So last four classes, I just given the overview about endpoint, data collection, adverse event reporting, tumor measurement and assessment under racist guidelines. And what are the oncology specific domain, SGTM domains, I just given overview. So in upcoming classes, I will explain you in detail. So this class, I will give overview about the censoring and confirmation rules. So what is censor? What is censoring? In the oncology studies, this word, you know, very, very, you know, frequently used. What is censor? So as per the oncology studies, so the event was happening. So who are you know not facing that event so that those subject we can call it as they are having the sensor okay so what is the event for example in case of overall survival analysis so the death is an event so what is overall survival so from the randomization to so the death what is the time taking so those we can call it as overall survival so means how much time he live from the treat randomization to the death so the, here overall survival cases the death is an event so who are not having the death in case of this overall survival studies so those subjects are censored who are having that event so those are event so in case of progress in free survival studies so what is the event so progress in disease is the uh, event of the progression free survival analysis so in case of the subject was the disease was not progressed then that subject we can consider as a censored for progression free survival cases who are having the uh, that progression was happening to the onc uh, the cancer so those subject comes under the progression free survival sensor uh, that uh, event okay so here for example one clinical trial so just now i told so one subject participating in the oncology overall survival endpoint related study so the subject is having the death then the subject go to the uh, sensory event type so if the subject was not having that event so then he has a sensor okay so here you can see the example so os and pfs os nothing but overall survival related the date of event is death date and death data progression is a pfs progression free survival so sensor cases if the subject having the death so that is a event for that one if the subject is not having the death and the subject is living so when the last known alive date we can consider the date of sensory in case of progression free survival so nothing but the disease progression so if the disease progression was happening when the date of the disease progression was happening so that is the event for progression free survival studies so if the progression was not happening so the date of last assessment or date of last scan was happened to the subject so that is the date for the censoring day okay so here censoring rules for os and pfs endpoint so if the subject is met that event so then we can give zero for that uh, sensor variable for the subject so if the subject not met that event then we will give the number one or you know greater than zero number was assigned to that subject particular record okay so additionally so we need to calculate the aval variable and ADT variable we can take from the CRM when it was you know uh, taking that scan or when it was taking that allowed date so that date we can capture as the ADT and aval variable nothing but the uh, you know time frame so that was calculated by ADT minus randomization plus one so ADT nothing but the date of event or the censoring date minus randomization plus one. So here you can see, for example, if it the sensor equal to zero, nothing but what? So the subject was having the event. So in that cases, we will give the sensor equal to zero. So in that cases, how well is nothing but, so this date of event, 
was death minus the randomization plus one if the subject was not having that event in that cases so the date of sensory minus randomization date plus one will give you the sensor variable and aval variable derivation okay so here you can see so sensor was giving to the zero for OA study because the subject was died and the subject met that event then the sensor equal to zero if the subject is not met that event of the OS, then we will give one to those subjects alive or last to follow who are not having the death. So, all the subjects will give you the one. So, the aval was calculated randomization date minus uh, no, IDT minus randomization date plus one divided by uh, 30.4375 because so some months we have 31 days, some months we have 28 days, right? So that is why this is a standard number will divided by will give you the exact days of the subject from the randomization to the particular uh, ADT, okay? And in case of PFP studies, progression free survival, if the subject not met the progression, so then we can give the uh, one and in case of the subject is met the criteria either death or progression was happened so then the sensor equal to zero so here also same randomization date minus adt will give you plus one will give you the uh, the days of aval okay